Hello and welcome. Are you preparing for Meghalaya Teacher Eligibility Test 2025 and looking to master the nature of mathematics? You're in the right place. In this video, we'll cover the key concepts such as 1. Precision, accuracy in mathematical operations. 2. Abstraction, simplifying complex ideas. 3. Hierarchical structure, step-by-step -step learning process. 4. Patterns in logic, recognizing and applying patterns. Plus, we'll go through some top MCQs with answers to help you practice effectively. Don't forget to join our Telegram group to download free PDF study materials and practice questions. Let's get started and ace your Megalia teacher eligible exam preparation. Nature of Mathematics Mathematics is a discipline that studies numbers, quantities, shapes, patterns, and relationships between them. It serves as the foundation of science, technology, and many real-life applications. The nature of mathematics can be understood through the following characteristics. 1. Precision Precision in mathematics refers to the exactness and accuracy in the formulation of concepts, definitions, theorems, and solutions. It eliminates ambiguity and ensures that mathematical expressions and solutions are clearly defined and interpreted. Example, in algebra, the expression 2x plus 5 equals 11, 2x plus 5 equals 11, precisely defines a relationship that can be solved for xx. Key features, one, clear and unambiguous definitions, two, exact operations and results. Third, precise language used to avoid misinterpretation. Now, let us know some multiple choice questions with answer key. Question one, which of the following best describes mathematical precision? Use of symbols to simplify language, estimating approximate solutions, ensuring exactness and clarity in definitions, applying real-life situations to math. Answer, C, ensuring exactness and clarity in definitions. Question two, which branch of mathematics is known for its precision in defining shapes and properties? Algebra geometry, calculus, statistics. Answer, B, geometry. Question three, precision in mathematics helps to Increase complexity, reduce ambiguity, add flexibility, allow estimation. Answer B, reduce ambiguity. Question four, in which situation is precision most crucial? Estimating grocery costs, proving a mathematical theorem, making rough sketches, measuring length with a ruler. Answer B, proving a mathematical theorem. Question five, Mathematical formulas provide precision by estimating results, allowing guesswork, defining exact relationships, providing random solutions. Answer, C, defining exact relationships. Question six, precision in measurement ensures faster calculations, reduced accuracy, exact and repeatable results, ambiguous outcomes, Answer, C, exact and repeatable results. Second abstraction. Abstraction is the process of extracting the essential features of a concept while ignoring irrelevant details. Mathematical concepts are often generalized to apply to multiple situations. Example, the concept of a number can be extended from natural numbers to integers, rational numbers, real numbers, and beyond. Key features. One, focuses on general principles. Two, applies to a wide range of problems. Three, reduces complex problems to simpler abstract models. Multiple choice questions, MCQs, with answer key. One, abstraction in mathematics involves ignoring irrelevant details, focusing only on practical applications, memorizing formulas, 
using concrete examples only. Answer. A. Ignoring irrelevant details. 2. The concept of number extending from natural to rational and real numbers is an example of generalization, abstraction, deduction, estimation, dot answer. B. Abstraction. 3. Which of the following is an abstract mathematical concept? Counting apples, solving real-life problems, infinity, measuring length. Answer, C, infinity. 4. Abstraction allows mathematicians to focus on irrelevant details, generalize concepts, skip proofs, avoid complex problems. Answer, B, generalize concepts. 5. The study of functions and relations in algebra involves practical problem solving, abstract thinking, estimating solutions, experimentation. Answer B. Abstract thinking. 6. Which of the following is a result of abstraction? Finding the shortest route in a city, developing number theory, measuring physical objects, estimating distances, Answer, B, developing number theory. Third, hierarchical sequential structure. Definition, mathematics follows a hierarchical or sequential structure where complex ideas build on simpler foundational concepts. New theories and results depend on previously established principles. Example, understanding algebra requires knowledge of arithmetic and calculus builds upon concepts of algebra and geometry. Key features. 1. Concepts build upon each other. 2. A logical progression from basic to advanced concepts. 3. Establishment of a framework that maintains consistency. Now, let us know some multiple choice questions. Question 1. Mathematics is hierarchical because it is based on guesses, concepts build on previous knowledge. All topics can be learned in any order. It relies on memorization. Answer. B. Concepts build on previous knowledge. Question 2. Which concept forms the foundation for calculus? Arithmetic, algebra. Trigonometry, statistics. Answer. B. Algebra. Question 3. In mathematics, learning basic arithmetic before moving to algebra represents random learning, sequential structure, independent learning, simultaneous understanding. Answer. B. Sequential structure. Question 4. Understanding geometry requires knowledge of algebraic functions, basic arithmetic operations, probability, number theory, Answer. B. Basic arithmetic operations. Question 5. Which of the following represents a sequential process in mathematics? Studying calculus without algebra. Learning multiplication before addition. Exploring statistics before geometry. Understanding complex numbers before real numbers. Answer. B. Learning multiplication before addition. Question 6. Theorems and proofs build on prior knowledge, demonstrating abstract reasoning, sequential structure, approximate understanding, non-hierarchical concepts. Answer. B. Sequential structure. 4. Patterns and relationships. Definition. Mathematics identifies, analyzes, and generalizes patterns and relationships in numbers, shapes, and data. Recognizing these patterns helps in predicting future outcomes and understanding complex phenomena. Example, the Fibonacci sequence is a pattern that appears in nature, such as in the arrangement of leaves or the spirals of shells. Key features, one, Identification of regularities and structures. Second, generalization of observed patterns. Third, application of patterns to real life situations. Now let's have a look some multiple choice questions. Question one, 
Recognizing patterns in mathematics helps in memorizing formulas, solving problems efficiently, increasing complexity, avoiding logical steps. Answer B. Solving problems efficiently. Question 2. Which sequence follows a predictable pattern? A. 1, 2, 4, 7, 11. B. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. C. 5, 10, 15, 30, 60. D. 3, 6, 9, 20, 25. Answer. B. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Question 3. Identifying patterns in data helps to avoid making predictions, predict future trends, ignore relationships, confuse problem solving. Answer B. Predict future trends. Question 4. The Fibonacci sequence is an example of logical deduction, hierarchical structure, mathematical pattern, approximation. Answer C. Mathematical pattern. Question 5. Patterns are essential in which branch of mathematics? Algebra, geometry, statistics, all of the above. Answer, D, all of the above. Question 6. Recognizing patterns helps in avoiding generalizations, forming conjectures, increasing ambiguity, minimizing accuracy. Answer, B, forming conjectures. 5. Logic and Reasoning Definition Logic is the foundation of mathematical reasoning, ensuring that conclusions follow from premises through valid inference. Logical reasoning ensures the correctness of mathematical proofs and results. Example Proofs in geometry use deductive reasoning to establish theorems. Key Features 1 deductive and inductive reasoning. Two, ensures consistency and validity of results. Three, develops critical thinking and analytical skills. Multiple choice questions. Question one, which type of reasoning forms the basis of mathematical proofs? Inductive reasoning, deductive reasoning, analogical reasoning, estimative reasoning, Answer, B, deductive reasoning. Question two, logical reasoning in mathematics ensures approximate solutions, valid conclusions from given premises, guesswork in proofs, memorizing facts. Answer, B, valid conclusions from given premises. Question three, inductive reasoning involves making generalizations based on patterns, starting from a general statement, proving axioms, avoiding logical steps. Answer. A. Making generalizations based on patterns. Question four. Deductive reasoning moves from specific to general, general to specific, patterns to approximations, random thoughts to facts. Answer. B. General to specific, Question five, logical reasoning is applied in establishing mathematical truths, guessing outcomes, avoiding rigorous proofs, ignoring assumptions. Answer, A, establishing mathematical truths. Question six, the validity of a mathematical proof depends on logical consistency, memorization of steps, estimation of results, ignoring assumptions. Answer, A, Logical consistency. That's it for today's. Thank you for watching. We hope this video helped you understand the nature of mathematics and practice with some top MCQs to boost your Megalia teacher eligibility test preparation. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss any future updates. Want more practice and study materials? Join our Telegram group now to get free PDFs, expert tips, and extra practice questions. Good luck with your Megalia Teacher Eligibility Test Exam. See you in the next video.